Hello, kindergartners, and welcome back. It is time for some writing. It is writing time. It is writing time. It is writing time. It is writing time. Get your writing folder. Get your writing folder. Get your writing folder. It is writing time. Um. All right, so we this week we're talking about short a words and we're blending sounds to make words yesterday we talked about and word families today we're focusing more on at thank goodness because there are so many more words that end in at um like we talked about earlier there's rat cat sat hat bat there are, the possibilities are endless with at and was a little trickier probably should have swapped those days but um, I'm gonna find a blank page which as I mentioned every day I'm like this is getting so full luckily I haven't done the back sides of papers yet so we'll be doing that very soon but this is awesome because look at all the writing we've been doing okay so I have my blank page I have my pencil my crayons ready at my disposal and we're gonna start writing so Remember the sentence frames we're working on are using I like the, or I like to, I see a, I see the. So we're gonna focus on those sentence frames so that we get you know, used to writing them and then we can comfortably do it independently. And then sounding out our last word, which I think today I was gonna do cat, but you know what? I know that I would just struggle writing, drawing a cat, so. <laughs> If you want to write about cat, be my guest. I think I'm going to keep it simple and do, I mean, I think I could draw a bat. I know I could draw a hat, right? I can do that. So when we start writing, we start with a capital letter. I, I spell it like I say it, I. So here, let me adjust this just a little bit, whoops that you can see what's going on. Sorry about that. When we're writing our capital letter, remember it touches the sky and the ground or as close to as possible. Then we use a finger space. I like to do a two finger space just to make sure we have enough room. It's just something I'm used to. We could do a single finger space, but sometimes your fingers are so small that you end up doing this and writing like right here. And then that's not a space. So I like the two finger finger space just because it makes sure that we have enough room. Um, if you are left handed, I know it's hard to like do this, but it's kind of like you count spaces one, two, three, and then you can start writing. So my left handed friends, let's count three spaces, one, two, three, and then you can write. All right. It'll be easier when we have the dotted lines because we can count the dotted lines. Here, I know that we don't. But anyways, my two finger finger space, I like L-I-K-E. I like you, you like me, we like each other. L-I-K-E, two finger finger space. The T-H-E, the dog goes woof, the cat goes meow. The bird goes tweet, tweet, tweet. Two finger, finger space. I like the, and I think I'm gonna write about a hat. <sighs> at, period, because that's the end of my sentence. So we always end our um, sentence with a period. Now, for my picture, hmm, what dare I draw? You know what, friends? I think I'm gonna go in a very creative direction today. And I think I'm going to draw snow. Because I think I'm going to draw, let's see, a tree here. But like, you know, winter trees don't really have branches. So maybe I'm gonna draw a different tree, like a pine tree. Yeah. Like that. Like half of the pine tree. I'm gonna draw my clouds. To 
Does anyone know why I decided to go with snow today? Here's me. Um, I always have a hard time drawing my clothes. But you're right, if I just don't give up, I think it's because like the space is so small. See, and I shouldn't have done that with crayons. I gotta wear warm clothes in the snow because I'm gonna draw a snowman. Of course my snowman needs to be a little smaller. Because my snowman is going to be wearing a hat. <laughs> I know, like we should be talking about like more Thanksgiving things, but here we are. 2020. Here's his little stick arms. I like the hat, or I could write, I see a hat, right? And maybe I have little mittens on because my hands are cold, right? Ow. Okay, I think I'm gonna start to color some of this in. So I am going to these are fancy schmancy time lapse. Here we go. All right, guys. So I just finished my picture. Um, like I said, be creative. Like I said, I think yesterday, be creative because writing is all about um, creativity. You're writing in your drawings. You don't have to write what um, I chose to write about. I kind of took this in like a way different direction than I even thought I was going to. <laughs> but we're just, as long as you write about a word that ends in at, you could write about bat, cat, sat, bat, mat, doormat, um, hat, rat. Did I say all of them? I think so. But here I wrote, I like the hat, and then I drew like a hat on the snowman. Um, I added some trees in here in the last minute just because I felt like it felt empty, and this tree's kind of like, the sun is kind of blocking it a little bit. But yeah. So, um, and you don't even have to use I like the. You can use I see, I like to, um, so, but trying to stay within those sentence frames with those sight words is the goal. So using I like the C uh to, that is what I'm looking for, and that your picture matches your words. So my job is to write a sentence using a word that ends in at. And yeah, don't forget to post it onto Seesaw and I will see you later. Bye.